my name is Rosie Moore, and I'm here with my husband, Marcus Moore. I started care with the doctor, of course, immediately, and then about two, three months into the pregnancy, I started having some complications. The, the things that the doctors were telling me when, first when I went into the hospital, the first time he was all of probably 19, 20 weeks old, and the doctor said he's not viable, he won't make it if we have to deliver, but your health is more important because you are at stroke level. Then the second admission, he was about 21 weeks or so, and again they said we can try and take care of him, but the chances that he would live, I mean, the stuff that the doctors were saying was very scary. All the things, his life would not be normal. Dr. Jackson, my OB, recommended that I have a high-risk ultrasound. He found a different problem. In addition to my blood pressure, I had a reverse flow in the umbilical cord. That was a different complication. The more that my blood pressure went up, it seemed that the better the baby was because it would push the blood volume to him, but it was a danger to me and the more controlled my blood pressure, then the less blood that he was receiving with food and nutrients. So it, the body was causing a terrible reverse flow, which he said we will have to take him earlier because of the fact that he can have intrauterine growth retardation and a bunch of other medical problems. The one night that I told Mark, go home, nothing's happening. We're just hanging out here waiting. And I called him and he was on his way to work and I said they're taking the baby now because they can't find his heart rate and he, or they found his heart rate and he had decelerations or whatever, they, it wasn't normal. I really didn't see him um, for two days except a picture that a nurse took and sent it with Marcus and that was the first time I ever saw him on picture. She eventually did get to see the baby as she came out of it and we just worked through it, moment by moment. And when I first saw him and saw the machines and saw the babies there, my knees went weak because I, I had never seen something like that in my entire life. My son there fighting for his life with a million tubes there, it seemed like his whole body was covered with wires and tubes and monitors and things beeping and liquids and I, I didn't know what to do. Even though I didn't have to do anything at that time, but they were telling me, this is what this tube is for, this is what's helping him to do this, and they explained everything. And a part of me wanted to know because the curiosity of being a nurse, but at that time I wore my mom hat, and it was more, when is he coming home? That was the question I asked all the time. When is he coming home? And little did I know the recovery would be very, very long. But the team of nurses, oh. of course, Janice was the primary, and she really encouraged us a lot, and that everything's going to be okay with the baby, and, and uh, just described all the processes that uh, babies in the NICU go through. But we just adjusted from day to day. We, things got better as time went on, but the nurses always made us feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. They always educated us on the things we needed to hear. Um, sometimes things that we didn't want to hear, but things that we needed to know about the baby. So, But the nurses were always great, and they really made all the difference because there's certain stages where we were, you know, just going through that difficult time as parents and, you know, the right nurse would be there to say the right things to us to really help us. I just lived here for so long, I wanted to just not come back. Um, I did come back um, last December to visit and um, it was pretty tough, but I needed to come back just to have closure that this is where he was born and you go like this, put it in your hand. Give it to Janice. There you go. Oh, good. Good. You want to take my back again? 